all of my cross country and track teammates. My mom. Mr. Rendell, Judy, and Gwen. Mr. Shenneman. Coach Heck. Ms. Rathlock. Mom and Dad. Marcus, Vance, Skyler. Hayden Bean. Mr. Shiko. Storm. Mr. Hodge. Max. Dominic Holliday. Dad. MDT and Dad. Mr. Rendell and my mom. Mr. Rendell's helped me in the past couple of years. He's helped me give me my first job, teach me uh, proper responsibilities for work. He taught me how to edit different camera styles and new technologies with the TriCaster. He's even helped me make uh, friends, mostly just him and Parker. Judy has helped me since I was a, since I was born. She's always cared for me and she, uh, cared for me and about me. In 2017, she helped me when my mom basically dropped me in front of her feet. She helped me through seventh grade, and she became my legal guardian. She has uh, raised me at, well and has supported me through high school. I'm the luckiest person to have her as my aunt. Gwen has helped me. She's she has helped me through some editing and helped decide on topics to do. She's helped me through rough times and stressful days. The people who have helped me these past two years at Mishawaka would have to be the Mishawaka dance team as well as my dad. I've never really been in a situation where I had to learn how to be strong even when I'm exhausted. Those people taught me how to find that inner energy and find the ambition to be able to keep going and to keep pushing. My dad has also taught me to keep going and keep pushing just for the sake of being able to live my life the way I want to. This year I've had a lot of hard stops in my life that would normally have been a be all end all for me and I probably would have quit if it was in any other scenario. However, the dance team and my dad opened my eyes to pushing through that adversity and to look for new ways to reach that goal that I really wanted to achieve. MDT and Dad, thank you so much for helping me become a better me. It's hard to pick just one person who has helped me over my high school career. I try to surround myself with people who better me in some way, but there are definitely mentors that I've found over the past few years that have helped me in more ways than one. Mr. Shenneman, my creative writing teacher, has not only helped me academically, but he has motivated me to keep writing in my free time, which helps with my mental health in the long run. Mr. Shenneman has been someone who brightens my day again and again, and I'm glad that I decided to take his class. His class and his presence are one of the few things that I think I'll miss when I graduate Mishawaka High School. The class wasn't what I expected it to be, but it has allowed me to express myself through my writing and encouraged me to continue doing so without doubting myself. If I hadn't met Mr. Shenneman, I don't know that I would have continued creative writing, let alone sharing it with the people around me. Out of all the people who have helped me in regards to this school, I'd argue the one who would have helped me the most goes out to Raflock. Considering I was the guy who made the transition to full on adult, I obviously needed whatever help I could to tell myself to make more adult choices and figure what it meant to go out into the real world and wonder how I'd make it. Considering I made a couple mistakes, there's no doubt some heart to heart advice makes you fully understand what went wrong. Plus, I've actually figured where I'm going for the majority of my life after high school. While some people are uncertain about going to their counselors, others like me don't mind a quick chat with someone who has a major part in the school they tend to overlook. I want to tell you about someone who made a major impact in my high school career, Coach Ronald Hecklinski, the Mishawaka basketball coach. Coach Heck has helped me through many obstacles and has given me so many chances. Not only did he help me become a better basketball player, but he also helped me become a better person. Last year, I went through some personal things and I can genuinely say that Coach, he Coach Heck helped me keep my head up. I picked up his class at the beginning of the second semester and ever since then, he's been giving me motivational talks. This year, Coach Heck announced his retirement and I, I can truly say no matter how much I've been through with him, I'm going to miss seeing him on the sideline yelling at the refs. So with that being said, I want to say thank you to Coach Heck for putting up with me. It was extremely hard to choose just one person. There are so many people who have helped me over the four years who I wanted to shout out. But choosing from my long list of friends, relatives, and teachers, there's one I feel like I haven't shouted out enough, and that would be Hayden Bean. I have always appreciated you. There were times as an underclassman I felt like I was less than by other seniors, but never by you. You were a senior who I could look up to the most, someone who I honestly inspired to be like, 
and a friend I could always trust and count on. I have always missed your presence in both the theater and the choir. I hope everything has gone well for you after graduation, and thank you for being one of the people to make my sophomore year memorable. Definitely the people who have helped me most in life are my parents. They have been there through everything. To give some examples, when me and my dad had to end up staying up till 1 a.m., trying to get math and work done to when I would go through times of great stress, I'm stressing about math or school. Both my mom and my dad have done so much to help me through everything that has happened and through all of the stress and hardship. They have been the biggest people and the biggest help in my life. I have no idea where I would be without them and there are not enough words in the world to describe how thankful I am for them and for fighting with me. I still can't believe it's almost over at the same time. I feel a weight of stress and all these other things slowly start to be lifted, but at the same time, sad to see my closest friends go this year, and then me next year. I'm really going to miss them. Me and my dad used to stay up absurdly late hours at the night trying to do math problems, and usually we end up not getting it all done because they have work and we both need money. We both need to sleep. My mom was a big support when it comes to just the amount of stress that I was going through. It got to a point where I couldn't sleep correctly, where it wasn't a good mindset and my mom was just a really good help. They both have been there through it all and they both have done so much for me and I cannot thank them enough. People who have helped me a lot in school are my best friends. These people are Marcus, Skylar, Vance. Marcus has helped me a lot by helping me with some schoolwork and we've had some cool conversations about games and showing each other memes that we both enjoy. Skylar has helped me with a couple of assignments. We talk about and play games. We watch anime and laugh at funny videos. For Vance, it's pretty much the same thing, except we also just horse around in class. My friend Storm significantly helped me over the years. They're kind, caring, and good at listening to my problems and giving me advice. They've helped me through extremely difficult times in my life through turmoil and tragedy and have been with me every step of the way whenever I need them. I thank them for the six years they've been my close friend. Mr. Shaco has helped change my development as a character in the world based on how he really talks and how he acts and communicates around others and that he believes in everyone that enters in his room being successful. Having him for four years in advisory really see how I changed from a freshman to being a senior. I can really talk to him and always has an answer and when I had him in the geometry I was struggling and when I had his class being in person I was eager to learn. He really talks about how people like ourselves should act around others. The people that helped me over my four years of high school would be my mom and teacher. I wanted to say thank you to my teacher, Mr. Rundle. At the beginning of my junior year, I joined his class, Radio TV. Ever since then, I fell in love with the idea of filmmaking and editing. At first, I didn't think I was going to like the class. But after a while, and saw what the class did and what the Mishwaka Network brought, this is what I knew what I wanted to do with my life. And I have my teacher to thank for it. Thank you to you, Mr. Rundle. And of course, the woman that made me and supported me through all of the good and bad is my mom. So thank you to her as well. Someone who has helped me at school over the past few years is actually several people. Those people being my cross country and track teammates. On almost every day of school, we would meet afterwards to go on a run and train for future races. It was always nice to have people there, not only to train with you, but also to be your friends. Communication is something that me and my teammates do a lot throughout the day. Even when we are not together, we have several group chats in which we text and interact with each other. This year has definitely helped me appreciate the close bond that the team has together, and it will be something that I miss when I leave for college. My mom has always helped me with homework and school projects, but she's been a huge help these last few years especially. She helps me whenever I have trouble completing an assignment. If she doesn't know how to help, then she'll look up and watch videos just to help me. Uh, she stayed up late at night to make sure I can finish projects. I was up past midnight once trying to get a project done and she stayed up to help me. Um, and even when I don't really need help with the actual assignment, she'll still try to help by checking on me and she makes sure I take breaks so I don't get overwhelmed. Whenever I have to write an essay for class or when I have to email a teacher about something, She'll help me get the wording right and read through it to help check my spelling. I always have to ask how to spell words or how to phrase a sentence. And I wouldn't be able to take the classes I'm in now if it weren't for her. 
The first time I saw Hodge was last year in interpersonal relationships when he was a teacher there. He was open towards people and willing to help throughout the class. This year, I had him as my robotics competition teacher. He co-taught the class with Mrs. Facet. Again, he was open towards others and always willing to help. He kept the competition classes on track for doing what we had to do to get ready for the days we had to compete in. Even after competitions ended and the classes merged back together, he continued to do a good job of co-teaching robotics. As his first year of teaching robotics at this school, he did a great job and he made me actually interested in going to school on white days. There was also a sense of closure in classes he taught. Just the right amount of freedom, just as long as you got things done in a timely manner. These past couple of years, my friend Max has helped me a lot through his school. He holds me accountable for having bad grades and when I suck up at school. Freshman and sophomore year, he was a very big help during COVID and still continues to help. I can thank him for me doing a lot of my missing work. He has helped me a ton. Dominic Holiday has helped me over the past couple of years here at MHS just by being my friend. Our friendship goes all the way back to elementary school. He's always been available to talk to, help with homework, help with anything. The fact that he's always just around to talk to is pretty cool. Plus this goes beyond talking just in school, we can talk through the internet to each other too. He's almost always available online. I'm more than certain that this friendship we've got is going to stay beyond high school. Maybe our entire lives if we're lucky. The one person I can name that has helped me through high school is definitely my dad. My dad was always the one to push me to higher limits and was always the one to make sure I was on the bump. He was always on me about my grades and was a bit tough at some moments, but he is the reason why I'm successful. He'd be there for every sporting event, every academic event, and would drive me to school and support events. I'd like to thank him very much for being there for my years at school. Thank you so much for helping me. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very, very much. Thanks. Thank you. 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 Thanks. Thank you.